So here we are with the Binotone 5 Star, the immaculate one. It's I'm recording this in November 2022. So considering this is November 1981, uh, the radio is uh, is 41 years old, isn't it? Uh, I did mention we we went to Rufford Ford uh, near Retford, and uh, that video is at the end of this. So um, if you want to watch us driving through Rufford Ford. Uh, for a few seconds that's there so absolutely immaculate done the retune works a treat and as I see whether Mr Chippy's out there um, I need to really be on the extension speaker and I don't want to touch the radio so I'll just feel where the extension speaker socket is I think it's that one so we'll start I'll just enter that there We'll start off on the internal speaker. Oh no, you can switch it on these sets, can't you? That's right. So, external. Internal, how convenient. Tango 21, Mr Chippy. Tango 21, bird. Here I am, on the Bandit 5 start recording. Roger, you putting the game away. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to mention what kind of radio it is. Roger, got you at the end of the lane. So we'll go to the extension speaker and then we'll fiddle with this tone control. I've got it on high at the moment. Right, we're now passing Ancaster Service Station. Roger, got you at Ancaster Service Station. Now, I just want you to talk a moment because I'm demonstrating the tone positions. Roger on that. Well, I think we're going to have the tone on medium today on this one. Right, we're now going through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you going through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger. So out of curiosity, What's this meter read when I press transmit? Not that you can see them very well on these kind of sets, but if you remember, I, if you saw the repair video, I carefully calibrated it so that it was 4 on 4 watts, um, but it, as, as I was saying in the video, it's pretty meaningless. It doesn't mean how much power you're doing at all, It's because it's relative to SWR. Right, we're now square wheeled at the top of the hill, tempted traffic light. Roger got you at the top of the hill and I was just discussing the RF meter and it reads just under 3 when we know I calibrated it for 4 watts. So that's part of the demonstration. Yeah, Roger that. Right, we'll go back to internal speaker for the rest of the video. Roger got you going around Scratchy Corner, Willsford. As revealed previously, I'm on a Binotem 5 star, and that's from 1981, doing a full 4 watts output. Yep, Roger that. So we do normally keep it secret, and then if it's, a, you know, if you've got a really cheap and nasty set, he's not going to say, well, that's rubbish, it's a cheap and... You know what people are like? If they know the brand... They may uh, view it differently, so this is why we never reveal what we're doing. Tango 21, do you copy? Tango 21, is that Stuart? Yes, good evening. Wow, well, you're absolutely booming it. Um, on, on the main, I can hear you really, really well. Uh, back to you. Okay, Roger, uh, Mr Chippy's um, probably about to call through, so just stand by, please, Stuart. Roger got you at the level crossing. You can now all talk. <laughs> I 
Stuart, are you copying Mr Chippy? Um, I can tell he's there. I could, I could hear him earlier on when he said he was square-wheeled. Um, I, I know he's there, but, uh, but I won't be able to have a, uh, a few or so with him. Uh, but I'll be, you're up really fine. Roger on that. Right, well, I'll ask you uh, at the end whether you copied him on any of the other ones. Roger and got you out of the Kelby turn. So this is Stuart, my radio amateur friend, um, who lives at the wrong end of Grantham. He's actually 8.8 .8 miles from me. So Mr Chippy's going in exactly the opposite direction. So if Mr Chippy was a mile and a half away, that means he was 11 point something miles from Stuart. Roger on that, Mr Chippy got you at the Grayley's turn. And that puts him at five miles from me, and that's our worst one. So he should just come up a bit for the final one at six miles. Roger got you going over Rawsby level crossing, and do you have a petrol price today? One sixty six point seven one ninety nine point nine, I think you said. One six six point seven one nine six point nine. One nine six point nine, Roger. Well that concludes the test, thank you. Yep, we'll do that. Ten ten. Ten ten. Hello, uh, Stuart, uh, did you copy any of Mr Chippy? Um, no, no I didn't know. I'm uh, I'm back to squelch off because I thought I'd just record it for you. And, uh, it would be a little bit noisy with the uh, with the kick there. Roger on that, Stuart, thank you. I'm on the worst area we have here. It's deliberately low for these tests. It's just above gutter level. It's a uh, Amtron 99 type of aerial, and it's um, it's mounted about three feet higher than the gutter level, bearing in mind this is a single storey building. So uh, it doesn't even poke out above the roof. So there you go, and it's not got the optional ground plane kit again. But, uh, because these are comparison tests we do, and uh, and that's what it's all about. So thanks for coming through. We're just going to finish this video off by me talking to our base station. Yeah, OK, Richard, well, that was great. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll speak to you another time. Uh, catch you later. Ten ten. Ten ten, Stuart. OK, well, that was nice to have Stuart on. So we're going to go to our base station and we'll pop the footage in of Rufford Ford, which is taken on Mr Chippy's um, mobile phone. So hopefully we can do something with the format, which will be totally different. So we'll go over to our Midland 76900 base station, uh, which of course is the same chassis as this. I'm going to turn the tone down because people have said it's a little bit harsh. So we'll just turn down a little bit, and then when I edit the video I'll see how it sounds. Because I know where they're coming from on that. So the plan folks is to go through Rufford Ford 
It says the road's closed. I wonder if it really is. We're in an electric car. Can we drown the electric car? Will we find ourselves on YouTube? There is a crowd. <laughs> Mr. Chippy's holding his camera. And the LSD. Oh, they're all right. Well, we've made it. <laughs> Just let that car go.